Look what I found. Fast foodies, I'm having a hard time saying this, but yes, it is time for yet another new Oreo review. Can you believe it? I mean, this is, I don't know what's going on over at Nabisco, but this has to be, I think the fourth new Oreo review I've done in the past couple of, almost weeks. I was gonna say months, but I think it's been weeks. First, we had the, the, uh, the out of this world Oreos with Pop Rocks. Then we had the, oh, don't get me started on those, uh, the dirt cake ones. Man, that was, I, I don't wanna have to think back on those. And then we had the, the Oreos that couldn't decide if they wanted to be chocolate or vanilla. So Nabisco came out with the black and white cookies. And today, Fast Foodies, I'm gonna be reviewing the brand new limited edition churro Oreos. And I can't believe I'm saying this, Fast Foodies, but I'm pretty sure that these aren't the only new ones out. I think there's one more new flavor of Oreos. And to make sure you don't miss out on a review of the last new flavor, which you better believe I will be dropping here on the Fast Foodies as soon as I can get my hands on them. And then guess what? All you gotta do, hit that subscribe button. Now, out of the past four new flavors that I've reviewed, including this one, I think this is the one I'm most excited for because, you know, the, the out of this world one, those are pretty much regular Oreos with Pop Rocks. Then we had the dirt cake ones. And like I said, I don't even wanna have to think about those. And then the, the black and white cookie ones, well, I mean, everyone's had the chocolate Oreos and the vanilla Oreos. So I kind of knew what to expect going into that. But these churro ones, these are brand spanking new. They have never been released before. Never has Oreo made a churro flavored cream Oreo cookie. So we actually have, so the, the cookie is actually fried dough flavored and then the cream is churro flavored, and then there are sugar inclusions. So we got some fried dough, some churro, and some sugar, because you can never have enough sugar. Sounds pretty good, but does it taste good? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you all about. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I think I am going to, how should I do this? Should I, I'll take a bite as it's supposed to be eaten, you know, just as is, and then I'll dissect it. Oh man, that smells, that smells good. And then I'll dissect it and I'll try the different components separately. You know what this is reminding me of? a snickerdoodle mixed with a churro. That is what I'm getting reminded of. Pretty good, pretty darn good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try each part separately. So first up, the cookie. This is the, uh, this is supposed to taste like the fried dough. It doesn't taste exactly like a churro, like the fried. Think of if a churro was mixed with a vanilla Oreo sandwich cookie. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, it has essence of the churro, but it's not 100% there. The Oreo, that classic vanilla Oreo flavor is still coming through just a little bit, but you definitely do get churro vibes. Now I will try the cream which is supposed to taste like the, uh, the churro. That's where the, that's sweet. That's like, that's snickerdoodle frosting. That's what I'm getting right there. <laughs> that, that's sweeter than a churro. And those sugar inclusions, man, I'm happy that they included them. <laughs> that is, Mm-hmm. That is a, some very sweet cream. The cookie does help dial it down a little bit though. Which I'm a little surprised about, but I'm also happy about because I think without that, it would just be 
it would be too sweet even for me. But as is, this is definitely the best new variety of Oreo out of the four new ones that I've tried. But of course, as I mentioned, there is still one more left that I have to review. So it'll be interesting to see if these can uh, stay on top or if that last new flavor, it's actually a new variety, or it's not a new variety, but it's not your classic Oreo. You'll see what I'm talking about once I get my hands on it. But for ratings, I'm gonna give these an 8.5 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys tried it out? If so, what were your thoughts? And we'll catch you in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. Fast Foodies. It's time to get dirty. Dirty with some Oreos, that is. Welcome back, everyone, to yet another review of some brand new Oreos. For those of you that have been subscribed for any amount of time, you would know how much I love my Oreos. Whenever a new flavor of Oreos comes out, you better believe that you will be seeing a review of that new flavor of Oreos right here on the Fast Foodies YouTube channel. So to make sure you don't miss out on more reviews of new Oreos because this actually, this dirt cake, might as well tell you guys, this is the uh, dirt cake flavored Oreos. But this wasn't the only new flavor of Oreos that I picked up while I was just at the store. That's right, Oreo just launched two new flavors, obviously this one and the other one. I don't want to spoil that for you. You guys will just have to stay tuned to find out what that other new flavor was. Or you can go to your local grocery store and find out for yourself. But I will be reviewing it here relatively shortly. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell notification icon so you get notified when that review drops. But I thought that I would first start off with these dirt cake flavored Oreos. Now, uh, yeah, these definitely look to be pretty interesting. Um, I'm hoping they're not just chocolate Oreos. At first I thought, you know, there'd be like gummy worms inside of the Oreos, but I guess the only gummy worm aspect are the sprinkles. So there are gummy worm inspired sprinkles on top. I never thought that gummy worms would inspire sprinkles, but here we are. <laughs> Man. Oreo, uh, Oreo really, uh, yeah, good thinking, Oreo. <laughs> but besides those gummy worm <laughs> inspired sprinkles on top of the chocolate sandwich cookies, these dirt cake Oreos feature a dirt cake flavored cream. It'll be interesting to see how that compares to the normal chocolate flavored cream that Oreo has in the past. I truly hope it's a little bit different how different? I'm not sure. There's only one way to find out, Fast Foodies. We gotta try it. Let's do this. There goes an entire row of dirt cake Oreos. Oh well. Open this up. I'll throw some B-roll up too. I'll dissect one of these and throw some B-roll up so you guys can get a little, a closer inside look. But here is those, or here are those uh, gummy worm inspired sprinkles. Honestly, they're just sprinkles. Come on, <laughs> come on. They're not gummy worm inspired. Please give me a break. But here we can see. Now I wonder if that dirt cake flavored cream is just a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate flavored cream. Because you guys can see there are two layers of cream there. There's the darker one and the lighter one. Should I eat it as is or should I try? I'll take one bite as it is and then I'll try the cream separately. All right. 
I am pretty darn disappointed right now. This tastes like a chocolate Oreo. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a little uh, little science experiment here. Let's see. Because the cream aspect is what we're really after, the cream flavor. That's supposed to be the biggest difference between these and normal chocolate Oreos. So let's uh, let's find out. I gotta give it to Oreo though. They've been really coming out with. Uh, they've been pumping out the new flavors recently. I. It does seem like only a couple weeks ago I reviewed the new, the like the Galaxy flavored Oreos. If you want to see that review, then stick around to the end of this one and I'll play it. But just look at, you got some of the cream on there. That one at least had Pop Rocks in it. This is... Fast foodies, unless, unless you collect Oreo boxes and want a new Oreo box to add to your collection, Oreo package, you call this a package or a box. I'm gonna call it a box. Unless you wanna add a new box to your collection, there's really no point for you to buy these <laughs> over the regular chocolate Oreos. These really do taste, they are, I, they're literally chocolate, they probably just added different food coloring, honestly, to the chocolate cream. That's all the difference is. These are just normal, I'm not going to rate these, I'm not going to give these a rating, because, yeah, I'm, <laughs> for two reasons. One, I'm so disappointed that they just copied chocolate Oreos and put gummy worm inspired sprinkles on top. And two, because if you know what chocolate flavored Oreos taste like, I'm sure... If you're watching this, you've probably, if you're watching this YouTube channel, you've probably had chocolate flavored Oreos in the past. Then, yeah, then you know what you would give these. I mean, they taste the same, except for the sprinkles. Um, that's the only difference. And they don't add any flavor, they're just a different color. And you can barely see them. They could have at least thrown like a gummy worm on top or something, you know? Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for, uh, this new Oreo review. Let's hope the other new flavor goes a little bit better than this one. See you guys in, well, next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, 